Welcome back, everyone, and let's quickly talk about props with components in Svelte 5. So as you see, I have this nested component, and I'm listing my props right here. And just keep in mind that if you're new to Svelte, that if you're passing in a string, you can just use these quotes. And if we go to the component itself, this is how we're going to type props. And we're using the props rune. So essentially what we're doing is we're spreading out these variables. All right. Now let's refactor this just a bit. Um, so I personally like to kind of make my own type. I'm going to name this type props and let's go ahead and make that type down here. So we're going to name this props. Okay. And nice and easy. So name is string. Let's go ahead and make age number. And then last one, of course, job is going to be a string. All right. So this is another way that you can kind of, you know, refactor typing these particular props. Uh, and remember, we used to do this with export let, like export let name and so on. And so this is a little bit confusing, so I'm kind of glad that they got rid of this syntax. Um, but let's say, let's go ahead and take away, and I'm definitely not 42, but <laughs> that's all good. So let's go ahead and just remove this, okay? And if I want to create some type of default value, it's just really simple. All I have to do is, and let's use the correct age here, is just assign it a value just like that. Now, we can override this, of course. So if I just say, you know, age, and let's go with, I don't know, we'll say 100, okay? And you're going to see that it is indeed using the value 100. And this is going to just kind of be like a default or fallback value. So I hope you got something out of this video. It was really quick, just going over the very basics of props. But if you did, go ahead and give us a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.